which is the um, antagonistic drive mechanism to increase impulsive force inspired by exoskeleton spring of mantis shrimp. The authors are Kula Maya, Shulichin, Furio Ito, uh, Riki Ono, Katushi Kagaya, and Taro Nakamura. So, um, who is here to present? Okay. So I now see the um yes, I now see the, the start of the presentation. And the presenter. Can you hear me? Hello, presenter. Hello, presenter. He maybe need to unmute himself. Ah, so, sorry. Uh. Yes, here we are. Uh. Uh, feel, feel, uh, Professor Fumio Ito, uh, Ito? Yes? Uh, yes. Good. Uh, thank Good. you. Thank you. Uh. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson, for your warm introduction. I'm Fumio Ito from Chuo University in Japan. I would like to thank you for your time today. The theme of my talk is the flows. Today, I would like to talk about mechanism to increase impulse flows inspired by mantis shrimp. I'll divide it, my talk into five main parts. First, I'll explain introduction. Next, uh, I'll show you study contents. And finally, I'll talk about impulse flows mechanism proposed in this study. Let me begin my talk by giving you an explanation or introduction. Some soft actuators, such as pneumatic driven, have a flexible structure and compliance. They are applied to biometric robots and the assisting devices, and so on, as shown in figure one, figures one and two. They established an important position in the robot study. However, they have a problem of poor responses because of the viscous elements, such as air. I think it is important to improve the responses of the actuators in the robot study, so I'm going to talk about responses that is instantaneous force. The instantaneous force means the large force exerted momentarily by springs or muscles, which is one of the soft actuators. Figure 3 shows an example of instantaneous force generated in the animal world. Also, these living things are divided into the exoskeleton type and the endoskeleton type. Mantis shrimp and ants hunt, grasshopper and frog jump. Kangaroo and cheetah run fast with the, with the instantaneous force. Here, I'd, atten I'd paid attention to the instantaneous force of the exoskeleton type in the above. The, exos the exoskeleton types exert both the muscle and exoskeleton spring forces at the same time. According to the same movement principle, various instantaneous movements are realized by the combined force. I think it is important to industry incorporate the technologies of these living things to generate various instantaneous movement by the combined force, including soft actuators. Next. I'll talk about related study on instantaneous force. Figure 4 shows the study about the instantaneous force. The grasshopper robot is, the jumping, is jumping with the elastic energy of the spring. Frog robot is using only muscle force. Cheetah robot is using the motors. There are many studies using the motor on the soft actuator and the spring. In my laboratory, it was studied about instantaneous force with soft actuator too. 
This device has an MR clutch placed in the pulley, and pneumatic drive muscles are antagonizing on the pulley. The instantaneous force was only caused by the article muscles, which is one of the soft actuators, and only depended on the re response of it. Like these studies, there are a few studies focusing on the combined force of the springs and soft actuator like muscle, although living things use the combined forces to generate instantaneous force. Therefore, the target of this study is establishing a mechanism to generate instantaneous force by the combined force of a soft actuator like muscle and the spring like, ex like exoskeleton inspired by the mantis shrimp. It is said that the mantis shrimp smashing with the combined force is the fastest in the animal world. So I thought imitating a body's mechanism is a shortcut to generate instantaneous force. In this talk, as the first step of achieving the target, we carried out modeling the smashing motion of the mantis shrimp as a mechanical element and confirmed the verification of the device movement based on the model by the, by the experiment for trial. Next, let me explain about the soft smashing motion of the mantis shrimp as a preparation of modeling. Figure 6 shows a smashing flow of mantis shrimp and the general model of mantis shrimp smashing motion. The mantis shrimp limb consists of two muscles, the extensor and the uh, flexor. And the exoskeleton uh, saddle spring and latch to fix joint movement. First, the mantis shrimp flexes the limb then the latch fixes the joint one rotation by contraction of flexor muscle. Next, the mantis shrimp distorts the exoskeleton spring uh, and increase of elastic energy of the core contraction of extensor and flexor muscles. Finally, releasing the latch by relaxation of flexor muscle uh, then smashes with combined force of extensor and the exoskeleton spring. Uh, furthermore, it is known that the trajectory of mantis shrimp's limb are elliptical orbit, which affects the impact. Therefore, the elliptical the sorry, therefore the elliptical orbit is also considered in the model. Here, I'll explain the points that we paid attention to in this motion. The first is the combined force of the saddle spring and the extensor muscle. The second is the fixation of the joint rotation by the latch. The third is the elliptical orbit of the limb. We have modeled the instantaneous force generation mechanism as a rotary system that is easy to incorporate as a mechanical element inspired by these three characteristics. Figure 7 shows proposal model. This model is a rotary system that is easy to incorporate as a mechanical element. The exoskeleton spring is constructed as tension spring. Uh, muscles and springs act on the pulley by tendon. The pulley is translatable in the horizontal direction. And by contracting the flexor muscle, the latch locks the pulley rotation. First, flex the limb, then the latch fixes the rotation of the pulley by contraction of the flexor muscle. Next, the limb translated by contraction of the extensor muscle, leading to distortion of, uh, distortion of spring and increase of elastic energy. Finally, releasing the latch occurred by relaxation of the flexor muscle, then smashing with uh, generated with combined force of extensor uh, muscle and spring. The, tra the trajectory of the tip of the limb is elliptical orbit imitating a mantis shrimp. Here, I'll talk about the actuator used in this study as a muscle element. 
ストレートファイバータイプアーティクルマスルコントラクツインザアクシャルリレクションアンドエクスパンドインザラリアルリレクションウェンエプレッシャーイズアプライトアズションインフィギュアエイトザコントラクションプロパティインザインザアクシャルリレクションイズフィギュアナイン The left figure shows the relationship between contraction ratio and air pressure, and the right shows between contraction force and air pressure. The contraction property of this article muscle is like the actual muscle. Therefore, I think the movement of the, the mantis shrimp can be more realistically simulated by using this article muscle. Also, as shown in figure 9, This article muscle has a large force in the actual direction. So I think it is impossible to have compliance and high power density instantaneous force by using this article muscle in this study. From the above these advantages, in this study, we use this article muscle to produce the device of the proposal model and confirm the movement of the device for trial. Figure 10 shows the antagonistic drive device inspired by the principle of the mantis shrimp massing. The center and mu、uh, flexor muscle constructed as a straight fiber type article muscle, and the ex exoskeleton spring is constructed as tension spring. And these elements act on the pulley by tendon. The pulley has a massing body. And is translatable by the linear guide rail. The contraction of flexor muscle drives the latch to lock the rotation. Figure 11 and 12 show the operation state of the device. This device can operate according to the, the operational model, so I confirmed the movement of the, the, the device as an early experiment. As a confirmation of the verification of the device movement, the impact force was measured with reference to the motion of Monty Shrimp. The experimental setup is shown in figure 13. The air pressure from the compressor was regulated up to 0.20 megapascal and applied to the article muscles via bulbs. The bulbs controlled by the microcomputer. First, the flexor applied for 1.5 seconds. Then, the rotation was fixed by the latch. Next, the flexor and extensor were applied for 1.5 seconds. Finally, rotation was released by the relaxation of the flexor, then, smashing the load cell. The smashing force was logged by the logger at two, the 12 kHz. Hello? No, it's not. Oh, sorry. Uh, figure 14 shows the experimental result. The y axis is force and the x axis is time. The below figure is the timing chart of applying to the flexor and extensor and motion image of the device. From this result, the force to standing up momentarily is confirmed. The maximum force is 6.6 .6 Newton and the time constant is 77.7 milliseconds. From the above result, I confirmed the feasibility of the movement of the device, of the model. In this experiment, the force was experimentally measured with a one parameter for the first step. So, in this, in this feature, I consider the strength of the force with multiple parameters. Okay. So,、uh, oh. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Thank, that's it. Yeah. thank you, Professor Fumio Ito, for that very interesting and detailed account of the,、um, of, of the Mantis shrimp. I'll invite questions now.
Uh, I have a question. Uh, as I understand, uh, this um, uh, robot uh, represents uh, the sum of uh, energy of the motion, uh, rectilinear motion and uh, rotary motion. Uh, motion. Uh, sorry. Uh, the question is... Uh, uh, so uh, th th this is the sum of energy uh, at the end. The energy of rotation and uh, mm. uh, uh, rectilinear motion of a spring. Uh, this article muscle uh, is driven by uh, the air pressure. Uh, uh, so uh, this mechanism is only uh, driven by the article uh, hmm. air pressure. Okay, I think the question. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the question okay. you answered. I think so. Yes. Yes. Okay. I, I, I've commented. It's very interesting. This exceptional speed, smashing speed of the mantis. Is there any anything obvious right down at cellular level or molecular motor level? It's not my field. Um, to explain this is is the is the reason yeah does the reason exist for this exceptional motion uh, right down at cellular level or molecular motor level? Hmm. Uh, sorry, uh, the question is. Um, if, um, Different way. It, um, no, maybe maybe this is not a good question. <laughs> it's uh, for in, oh. into a, a different field. Uh, any more questions? Excuse me. Uh, somebody uh, raised a hand. Xiao uh, Feng. Yeah. Can you hear me? Thank yes, you. we can hear yeah. you. So thank you very nice, like the the presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, I have one question. Uh, I I still don't get it. You have like the uh, uh, extensor, uh, uh, fracture muscle, and you also connecting like the passive supreme. Then the question, the first question is why you want to adding the passive supreme into this kind of a pair of the muscles. Have you compared without, without and with the passive supreme? What are the difference in the performance? Uh, 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 okay. Uh, the soft actuator uh, has uh, low low response uh, low response properties, uh, but the uh, spring has high or uh, high uh, response uh, property. So okay, okay. yeah. So, uh, combined with uh, these uh, element, uh, uh, read, uh, I, I thought combined uh, read element uh, to uh, generate instantaneous uh, force. Uh, okay, I see. So, so basically, this is uh, very similar to like the theory of elastic actuator, I, I guess, because somehow you have the passive and you have also like active uh, muscles like actuator. I, I guess this is kind of the, 
the similar methodology about like serial elastic actuator, I guess. Is is it right? Uh, okay. Uh, this mechanism uh, is generate force with passive uh, par parallel force. Uh, okay. Or, okay. Okay. Anyway, maybe we can discuss later. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No, the, we're with, at the end of our allotted time, with three papers rather than four, I do not see the author of the first paper uh, in the attendance list, so maybe we'll okay. hear perhaps another uh, time. Professor Bridge? Yes? Professor, yeah. Professor Bridge, uh, we contacted uh, Professor Kirill uh, Trukhanov. Uh, he won't be able to present his paper. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks. Unfortunately. So so it remains for me to uh, to thank uh, Professor Artis Sukhanov for his help with the session, to um, to thank all the presenters for some very interesting papers, and to thank all the attendees I see on the rest of the session. I believe there is now a 15-minute break before the next session. Thank you, Artis.